Hey guys, this is the EC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a blank thermostat, or maybe you have a non-digital thermostat, but you're just not able to turn the air handler or the furnace on. In this case, we're hooked onto a furnace control board with a 3 amp fuse. What that could mean is that your 3 amp fuse could be blown, not allowing 24 volts to your thermostat. R is power, 24 volts, and C is the path back in order to turn the thermostat LCD display on. Maybe your face is lit, but really it's just the batteries on the back here. Okay. Uh, so anyway, you're not if you're not able to turn your furnace or your air handler on, there could be several reasons why. And first thing is if you turn the power off and then you pull this fuse, if the fuse is bad, uh, one of the things that it could be is that R 24 volt hot and C common are touching, or R and the ground are touching somewhere. So maybe in your thermostat wires, maybe in your thermostat itself. It could be that one of your 24 volt sensor wires going to say your flame rollout switch is touching a ground. So that's all things that could end up popping this three amp fuse. Another thing is that maybe you have too many field applied relays and you're drawing too much amperage uh, and, and that it's adding up to over three amps and that's why it's popping. So we're going to go ahead and get into a little diagnosis here in order to figure out what the problem is. After you verify that the power is off, you can go ahead and pull your fuse out. Once you see that you have a blown fuse like this, and you can also check it with a multimeter just like this, it says OL. All right, that means that there is a reading of over limit. All right, so here's a good fuse. All right, it's uh, indicated by a, a very low resistance reading. In fact, it should be 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. But basically, you should have very, very little resistance value. The only reason that this is reading resistance right now is because these alligator clamps right here uh, are, are not biting into the surface of the metal. So this fuse would normally read 0 ohms of resistance to electrical flow. All right, so how do you diagnose that? Where is the source of the problem? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to pull off the thermostat wire. So we're going to go ahead and do that first after you have turned off the power. So once you've pulled the power, once you've turned the power off, you can go ahead and pull your red wire and your common wire going to your thermostat. So that's these two wires right here, this blue and the red. So you know you have an additional common and Y right here, and they are going out to the outdoor condensing unit, which you power with 24 volts on the contactor. So this would represent what's going out to the outdoor unit. Uh, sometimes you may have four wires heading out to the outdoor unit. On heat pumps, you're gonna have uh, a few more wires than that. Uh, but most outdoor condensers that are normally used for air conditioning have two wires. One is a hot going out from the Y and the other one is common coming back to the common on the control board right here. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and remove both off of that common. All right, so now that we have these wires out, we're going to go ahead and check to see if we have any type of resistance. If we do have resistance between this blue wire and this red wire that we're connected to common and red, then that will be a problem. So we're going to go ahead and connect them. All right, so you see that we have 2.1 ohms of resistance, so that's not good, all right? Uh, so those wires are touching somewhere. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the faceplate of the, of the low voltage thermostat, and then now we're gonna check again, all right? So it reads 1.9, 1 1.8 ohms of, re of resistance to electrical flow. It may be that somebody stripped the wires in here right in here or here uh, in a way where maybe they were cutting around the outside jacket that that brown wire and nick the wires maybe they're touching right there that could be the issue uh, or somewhere's along in line where the where the wall is or something like that maybe you got scraped maybe there's a piece of metal maybe where these thermostat wires are, are coming through the furnace at something along those lines but anyway right now we still have that same resistance, 1 1.8, 1.9 ohms of, of resistance to electrical flow, <clears throat> which means that they are still touching. If you did get, if you got with your multimeter right now, if you got OL, then that would mean that your thermostat face right here would be the issue. If you did have resistance when you had the thermostat face on and then when you took it off, you then got 
over limit, then that would mean that your thermostat face was the problem. All right, so at this point now, what you're gonna wanna do is disconnect it from your thermostat. All right, so we still have the same problem. We've disconnected the red and the blue wires, but somehow the, the problem must be near because as we move the wires around, the resistance value is getting less, okay? So the resistance value right around here must be, must be, get, must be uh, changing just due to us moving the thermostat wires. So uh, something that you can check for, you want to visibly check to make sure that the thermostat wire was not stripped in this way. You never want to have a thermostat wire that was stripped in this way because maybe 9 out of 10 times somebody might be able to just pull the brown uh, sheathing off but most of the time they will have nicked the thermostat wires. So if anybody ever, if you ever come across this right here, I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a little bit of sheen to it. Okay, so you can see that the wire has been nicked by us cutting the, the, the outer casing in that manner. Okay, and, and that right there would be a problem. So you want to visibly check to make sure that the thermostat wire doesn't look like that. All right, so if it doesn't look like that, then what you would normally do is hopefully that the individual has ran an additional wire. So right here, you see that we have a brown wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that brown wire out. So you could choose to run a new thermostat wire because you know that the fuse was blown because of the thermostat wire at this point. Because after you've disconnected it from the say furnace control board or the air handler control board and you still have a resistance reading between the wire that was hooked to the R and the wire that was hooked to the common, uh, then you know that it's in the thermostat wiring, okay? But normally what you would do is you would either run a new thermostat wire or you would use an ad additional wire that's not being used, okay? So anytime I install a system and it needs five wires, I run six wires. If it needs two wires, I run three wires, okay? Um, so you always want to run additional uh, 18 gauge wires for your thermostats just in case you need them later uh, even for an instance like this. Okay so now we've pulled out the brown wire right here and we stripped the end and we pulled the brown wire out right here where your thermostat is. So right now we're going to check resistance between your brown wire and your blue wire and if that reads OL which is what it does right now then it is good to go ahead and switch out your red wire for your brown wire. So you're going to switch that one out here at your thermostat uh, terminal location right here on the on the furnace control board and your thermostat sub base right here. Most of these issues you can you can find uh, with your multimeter using resistance with the the wires isolated. All right, so you got to just trace your wires out in order to figure those things out. But if you're having a hard time with with trying to find where the problem is. And you might want to use one of these three amp circuit breakers. They're little poppers, okay? You use them in lieu of your fuse while troubleshooting, all right? So, so the fuse will pop, uh, opening the electrical circuit, all right, if you have a short. They also make them in five amp circuit breakers as well, the little poppers right there, and I'm going to include them in the uh, link in the description below. Uh, but most of, mostly all of your issues, you know, you can find with resistance, with the power off and your wires isolated. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.